explosive allegations against one of the richest and most famous yoga gurus on earth. He is the swaggering, controversial founder of Bikram Yoga, a style of so-called hot yoga that he claims can revolutionize your spiritual well-being, your health, and your sex life. But now, Bikram stands accused of sexually assaulting five of his own followers, women who say they believed in him, revered him. Nightline has been investigating these allegations for more than a year, and here's David Wright with our report, Yoga Guru Under Fire. Nobody has the right to my body. Sarah Bond, a young mother in San Francisco, is haunted by what she says happened to her. So much so, she says she can barely bring herself to do the thing she loves most, practicing yoga. My daughter one day looked at me. She was almost three, and she said to me, Mommy, I want to be just like you. I want to be a yoga teacher. And all I could think was, you can't do that. You'll get raped. This is the man she accuses of assaulting her. There's no rock and roll, everybody. Arguably the richest, most successful yoga guru in the world. Are you ready? In the yoga world, he's a rock star. Known by just one name. Boom! Bikram. His brand of hot yoga synonymous with sweat. And Bikram claims it can improve your body, prolong your life, and even invigorate your sex life. You know, hardest problem in my life, David, is stay away from women. Women likes me. And I have to run city after city, country after country, all my life to stay away from the women. Women like you too much. That was a year and a half ago when we started reporting on Bikram. Already then there were rumors about inappropriate contact with students. I asked him about those rumors. That Every woman loves me. You know, president's daughter, you know, prime minister's daughter, you know, billionaire's daughter, superstar, actress, acting, singers. But yogi is supposed to be yogi. They cannot involve with the women. But since then, five women have filed civil lawsuits accusing Bikram of sexual assault. Four of the women accuse him of rape. Sarah Bond was the first to come forward. She first told her story to Vanity Fair. He absolutely chases women. He victimizes women. And someone can look him in the eye and say no. And it doesn't matter. She was 20 when she dropped out of college to attend Bikram's teacher training program. The grueling nine-week seminar led by Bikram himself cost thousands of dollars and is the only way to become a Bikram yoga teacher. It was a big commitment for me right. to make this decision. Um, but it was something I was extremely dedicated and passionate about. Meeting Bikram for the first time, she says she was full of hope. She told him his yoga had changed her life. Um, and I told him I was sad, now I'm happy. Um, I feel like a completely new person. Bikram, I love you more than chocolate. She says Bikram took an immediate interest. He took me by the arms and told me that there was a connection between the two of us that he'd never felt before. Later, she says Bikram told her privately that they should start a relationship. Shaken and upset, she says she rebuffed him and reported the incident to a teacher training staffer. Then he said, he's, he may not be a very good man, but he's a very good teacher. Did that seem like good advice? I wasn't really sure what else I could do. But she says Bikram persisted with unwanted advances during classes. And he put his hands on my leg and my arm and pulled them apart. Your legs at this point are spread and he's leaning into you from behind. It's called standing bow pose like this. He then started whispering things in my ear that no one else could hear. Don't you love me? Come to LA, come be with me. And he displayed me in front of everybody and it was so humiliating. You can have better than six. 72 hours non-stop. To outsiders, the teacher training can seem unorthodox. This is called natural fire graph. Students, almost naked and dripping with sweat, are cheered on by Bikram's sexually charged banter. One woman, I make her 42 times in one 
one night in seven hours. That's the record. Change again. He's the guru and he's the spiritual master. Larissa Anderson says she was part of Bikram's inner circle, one of a select few teachers to become part of Bikram's entourage. I think the guru thing is sort of hard for people to get. It's not just that he's like a really good spin instructor. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. To you, he was something spiritual? Yes. The young women who want to believe in something so badly, he sees it. And those are the people that he targets because they're vulnerable. Larissa Anderson says she was vulnerable when she came to Bikram, recovering from drug addiction. Yoga, she says, was her path to a healthier life. He could walk on water as far as you were concerned. Absolutely. Absolutely. She says all that changed late one night at Bikram's Beverly Hills mansion. He raped me. We were watching a movie and he grabbed the back of my head and he kissed me. And I pulled away and I said, I don't, this isn't, I, I felt speechless because this was my guru and I thought of him as a father figure. And he stood up and he grabbed my hand and he sat me down on the couch and he pulled up my skirt, pulled down my underwear, pulled his boxer shorts down and had sex with me. And I had said no. He raped you? Yes. There? Yes. In his own house? Yes. His wife sleeping upstairs? Correct. And his daughter sleeping upstairs? And his son. It didn't last very long. He didn't use protection. He stood up, put his shorts back on, and went back into the other room, sat down on the couch like nothing happened. According to her lawyer, she did not report the alleged incident to the police until years later. But she says the rape took place in the very room where Bikram and I had sat down for our interview. I never lie, never cheat, I never hurt another spirit. I'm the most spiritual man, David, you ever met in your life. It's also the room where Sarah Bond says Bikram assaulted her. Bond graduated from teacher training and started participating in yoga competitions. And she says eventually felt comfortable enough to visit Bikram's house at her coach's urging to get feedback on her routine. Suddenly you're alone with him. I was alone. At his house. Yes, and he put his hand inside my leg and his other hand on my breast. And he kept trying to touch me and he was on top of my body. And he said, my wife's a bitch and I need someone to love me, to be with me, to massage me. And then he said, to have sex with me. And I said, I will never do that. Then he told me that the only way that I could ever win the yoga competition was if I had sex with him. He Very said, quid pro quo. Straightforward. Sleep with me you or you will You will never win. win the yoga competition unless you have sex with me. I pushed him off of me completely. I stood up. I looked him in the eye and I said, I don't need you to win. I'm going to do it on my own. And I walked out of his house. More determined than ever, Bond did compete. This is Bond's routine, posted on YouTube from the competition run by USA Yoga, an organization founded by Bikram's wife. Vaughn believed the routine was nearly perfect. She placed second. It's wrong. No one, this case aside, no one, no one is entitled to anyone's body. Not ever. And nobody said anything. They just sat there and they let him do it. Chowdhury and his legal team declined to be interviewed for this story, but his legal team provided ABC News with a statement. It said in part, they strongly dispute the allegations and intend to vindicate themselves in court, adding they do not intend to try this case in the media. This is a sick man. And I'm not even the worst. I got away. <laughs> When we come back, why the police weren't involved and why this woman is now coming forward. I'm ready because it's my truth. 
truth I want people to know. And more from Bikram, who for years has scoffed at his critics, including this from our earlier interview. People sometimes become famous. That is a group of people get jealous. People, on, people talk bad about Jesus also. Sure, so what? Sure.